Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Well guys, let's take a look at the gold market really fast. Just to not uh, take your attention from your uh, relative, from your family in this holiday. Well guys, uh, in fact gold is continuing to coiling around the major resistance area and, and around our crucial areas. 12, even 12.10 area. That's in fact the edge that uh, stands at the barrier between the normal retracement uh, between the chances on the further downward continuation and between uh, possible further upside action and possible development of something bigger than just a retracement. And uh, you can see this equilibrium since market is coiling around the weekly, uh, sorry, monthly pivot point as well. Currently, in the nearest future, there are two major events that could happen on the gold market. And the first of all, uh, I would like to say about this PDR fund. The recent st 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 statistic data uh, tells that the SPDR fund ca continues to lose storage and now uh, the storage is contracted for another 5 tons of the gold since the previous week and that makes me think that recent rally that we have discussed in the previous week and that was really the big sign of the possible changings coming on the gold market was probably just the closing really the closing of some short position or something of that sort because we still do not see any inflow of the money in the fund and it means that investors stand aside from the real purchases on the gold market. Also we have the really heavy comments from the major banks World banks on the possible for the gold depreciation. So that a uh, couple of weeks ago we have seen the comments from the Goldman Sachs. Yesterday we uh, have read the comments from the uh, Societe Generale. Uh, this is possible for the downward continuation. Ben Amro also suggests the further downward action for coming on for nearest uh, year, year and a half probably. They really talk even about. Uh, 800 area on the go for the uh, gold. That's really a deep level uh, to the downside. That's the first moment. So we do not see any support of the market from the real uh, inflow of the money from the uh, investors, uh, from the institutional investors. So the second moment is voting in the Switzerland uh, concerning the purchasing of the gold from the national bank. Right now, the recent poll suggests that that uh, the chances of the uh, getting no answers on the on this voting are greater than the than the yes um, answers, and that means that we should be extra careful because on Monday we could get a significant gap down, uh, as uh, this poll could support the gold price because in this case if they will get the yet, uh, yes answer, then Swiss, National Swiss, uh, uh, Swiss Bank will have to purchase approximately one and a half thousand tons of the gold within some years and that will really support the gold market while uh, if we will get the no in this case that pr probably could get uh, this the psychological effect on the market the market really could drop uh, right out from this resistance area uh, mostly because it already stands here for a considerable period of time you can see almost two weeks if we will take into consideration this candle as the reaching of these levels, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, yes, tomorrow will be 10 days in a row markets coiling ar around this resistance and without no action. That makes me think that this combination really could lead to some plunge down uh, on the beginning of the next week. The market could show the gap open if a Swiss, uh, Switzerland voting will result with the negative uh, will get the negative result on the on this voting uh, at the same time guys the since volatility could really increase with these events on the four hour time frame chart our analysis still stand the same so you can see the market is coiling around the weekly pivot point shows that it stands in the balance between the bullish and bearish sentiment and but any plunge down usually 
denies very fast so you can see market has reached the weekly period support one fast return right back up standing here some attempt to move high move lower again was was uh corrected right above uh, right back to the weekly pivot points market stands flat also guys take a look that trend shift bearish but the price action stands in some upside motion and it this indicates that the bullish dynamic pressure still exists here and we can't exclude that this ugly butterfly still could be completed but right now it looks a bit different different so probably we should probably no it's not the correct Yes, it's the same butterfly. Anyway, uh, if we if we even wouldn't treat it as the butterflies, we could use this this extension of this retracement and stand right at the weekly pivot resistance one. So market probably could show some small spike on the volatility to grab stops above these tops and turn to the downside after after that. This will not shift the overall view on the market as possible moving down, but. Uh, that will just mostly will be the tactical uh, issue, the, the, the behavior that's very uh, common for gold markets, grabbing the stops at the significant levels, and this and uh, that will complete simultaneously as this pattern as the uh, dynamic pressure target, since it has the minimum target just above this top. Well, that's. Uh, but that's in general uh, our thought on the gold market. So, uh, in the just two words that have been said, that uh, we expect in general a possible move down if the Swiss uh, voting will will result uh, with uh, negative uh, answers. And uh, but before that, market really could show some spike volatility and nervousness spike, just the crap stops and then turn to the downside. That uh, seems very probable in the current condition because currently, uh, if something really outstanding will not happen on the, geop the geopolitical uh, sphere. We do not see any source that could support gold right now with the upside action because we do not see any, any real purchases as it was here. That was also significant retracement as you can see it's very harmonic but here we every day uh, told about the lack of the real purchases and this really was finished with this just ex extreme plunge down. Here we could get something of that sort. Maybe it's not it will be uh, it won't be such fast action, but uh, downward reversal with the lack of the real purchases really would happen.